Building with logs. All right, let me show you how this one's gonna work. So, first off, grab this log. You're just gonna kind of lay it uh, about like this. Give you a little path up. You could probably angle it a little better than I did, but you, you can still get up no matter what because all you gotta do, if I can get this going here, is get over here, climb a little bit, run on up. It can be angled a little, make it a little easier. All right, now we've got an issue where we have a bit of an angle on both sides. So what we're going to do here is we are going to take our log here, take our other one. We're going to attempt to make like a uh, bit of a shape here. So the tatsies together. What we want to do is we want to kind of angle this in such a way. Because the problem on this one... So it's gonna fall but if you can do it just right let's do it to where now we can flip it a bit just on this corner right in the middle line it up just right it will stay you'll be able to climb up but you got to line up the center of the two logs right along the the angled part here the roof the peak so that you can get that going and then run on up all right, now we do have a, another bridge we need to make here across the water. Let's just attach these two together. Now, what you'll notice, though, is that if, when you try to turn it here, it's not quite long enough, but it's good enough to get you across. You can just jump on up. Now, here we are with a very long... Uh, area here. So what we can do is we can just grab the ones we had here. Okay, let's break them apart. Okay, let's start attaching them. We got some mortar logs over there. Twist this around and just keep it going. Keep it going. End to end. That looks like that may be big enough. How many do we have here? Four. We have four attached. Let's see if that's long enough to get us across. I'm gonna angle it just right. Pull it down. There we go. Nice and easy. All right. Now let's climb across. And there you go. But we're not done yet, are we? Now we got to get across this ridiculously long water, but we got some help here. All right, so let's grab a couple of these logs here. We're going to lay them out. We're going to make ourselves a boat. So let's attach these two together. Let's get three. Three should be nice and neat. Now all we got to do is grab us these fans. Make sure that the, uh, I would put it, by the way, right on the center there. And make sure that the fan part is facing outward. All right. We really only need one fan to do this. You can drop this in the water here. Just like so. We'll float back up to the surface. All right. Now jump on it. Now let's get this fan working. Hit it. gonna bring us right across right to the shrine now I see a treasure chest over there and it's very simple you want to get the treasure chest twist it over to go that way I'm gonna put it over here because it's gonna start moving immediately I need a little time hop on it it's gonna bring you right over to that All right, let's grab that. Spiky shield. Really, I'm not worried about that. I'm going to let that just stay. And then we are going to take it right back over. Angle it right towards it there. and Because it's going to go straight. Jump on the boat real quick. It's going to bring us right over to it. 
And that is that. We can now finish the shrine. I hope you're having fun. And Tears of the Kingdom is an excellent game. If you found other ways to solve this shrine or any of the others, I post tips, guides all over this channel. Please like and subscribe. But let me know in the comments down below if you found a more interesting way to do this shrine. And until next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming.